we'll spend our Sundays hand squeezing tomatoes, making meatballs, and and just hanging out. So I'll go. So every where do Sunday. you leave your cart, dude? Like next to your <laughs> car? Yeah. Or what? this is gonna sound even You're worse. That guy? Nah, hold on, hold on. What I usually try to do is I'll find an angle from my car to the cart corral, and okay. I will push it across the parking lot. <laughs> And hope it makes it. <laughs> oh, all right. So it's That's kind of works. an attempt. I'm trying. Do you think that the times that it doesn't actually land in the cart part, the cart area, then it's just sitting there blocking traffic? No, because I always at what least What if the wind hit, takes it? I always yeah, at, dude, at right minimum. Right somebody's fucking bumper. <laughs> yeah, at minimum, I always at least hit the Certified cart Certified correction. Yeah, That's why. Exactly. yeah, we'll be all right. We're going to figure it out. <laughs> but he usually I, business cards on there. I'll, I'll get it. Strong enough of a roll that we hit the cart corral, oh. and usually it stops that's, that's like that's we not might not bad. make it in though. We might not make it in. So it stops right, like right there, enough. and I'm like, that's yeah. a valiant effort. Yeah, somebody needs a job putting it away. It's uh, not yeah, too so bad. that night I was telling you guys that I ended up. It, it had to be 30, 30 carts that I moved. What I noticed what was happening. What made you do it though? <laughs> well, like, in what what point did you walk outside and say somebody's got to clean these carts up? I better do this. Pretty quickly, dude. I went to the car. I went to the truck and there were like five carts near me, all right? So I just grabbed those five. Then I noticed people that created their own little cart spot that wasn't the correct spot. It was just in the parking lot. So I watched two people bring their carts over to this other area of the parking lot and, and put them in this spot. So then I just grabbed everything that was in the spot, put them all together in like one line and like yeah. walked them all the way over to the thing. So like total, it had to be like 50 carts. That now I what if somebody over. yelled at you for doing their job? Who's gonna yell, man? The guy I don't know whose job it is. Yeah. My first job yeah. was at, at Food Town in Rain Tree Freehold. Right. My favorite thing to do was get the carts. They gave us this little thing to drive. You drove into the carts. Oh yeah, they had that at Costco. It was fucking awesome. There's a lot. There I'd was have been a lot pissed more. If you were picking up shopping carts, there was a lot more cart etiquette back then. Like these guys could use some help. Yeah. Everyone's neglecting the cart. Yeah, but I'm so that glad says we're talking about, about this, and I'm so glad it pisses Evan off because well, no, but, I hate that. But it that. says what? a lot about society today, right? So think about yeah, we're selfish. talking about a shopping cart. People are selfish. They only see themselves. They don't give a shit about anything mm -hmm. else. It's when, if it inconveniences yeah. you, it doesn't matter. It's when you're walking out of Wegmans, and they're all the they're all the same. They're all fifty five to seventy year old women, in particular, and the en like the entrance where the carts are. Like they leave them right there, and it's like yeah. people are walking. It's like when you walk into a food store and people immediately stop and like pull out like their phone or their wallet. It's like walk another twenty feet and then pull it out. True. This is the funnel of where everybody's walking through. True.